I have two really basic strums for you to get you comfortable with the action of strumming. Let's look at the first strum, the on-beat strum. It's called that because we are strumming right on top of the beat. One and two and three and four and. And when we strum down, we are going to strum with our index fingernails. So I'm going to take my hand and rotate from the wrist so that I can have my index fingernail coming across nice and flat against the strings. And when I strum, I'm going to use my elbow as the hinge. I'm not going to have a lot of motion coming from my wrist like this. My wrist is going to be fairly stationary and most of the movement is going to be coming from my elbow so that I can be swinging down, 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 down and having a better chance of hitting all four of those strings. And when I strum, I'm going to be strumming in what I call the strum zone. It's above the whole of your instrument and kind of happens right around here where the, where the body meets the, the fretboard. So I'm going to play the C chord and I'm going to play the on beat strum a few times. One and two and three and four and one Our next strum uses down strums and up strums. So when we strum down, we're going to continue to use our index fingernail. And when we strum up, we're going to use the pad of our index finger. And it's going to sound like this. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. One and two and three. you to just spend a good amount of time holding that C chord shape, getting those grooves into your fingertip, and practicing either or both of those strums just so you can get comfortable doing that. And then when you're ready, let's play your first song.